You know, the scary weather has created some scary accidents as well um, this winter. Take a look at this crash. A train slamming into a FedEx truck and an investigation is now underway. And Eva Pilgrim is here with more. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. Terrifying. Those trucks and cars driving through what looks like an open railroad crossing. Nothing warning them that a train is heading their way. It starts when this North Salt Lake City police officer, his dash cam rolling, backs up to avoid this sudden impact, a commuter train versus a FedEx truck. Verifying the semi was split in half. Take another look. Before the crash, the crossing gates are up, lights and bells off. It takes 30 seconds before they finally turn on. We got some people on the train. Probably need some medical assistance. Utah Railroad authorities blame severe snow and ice for causing a power outage. The gates are programmed to come down and apparently they did. But when railroad workers arrived to investigate, for some reason, the arms raised back up. This is an unprecedented accident. This has not occurred at UTA prior. Some of the train's 82 passengers complained of whiplash, but there were no serious injuries. FedEx says it's grateful the two workers in the truck were okay too. An investigation is now underway to figure out why the truck and train ended up on a collision course. And really just makes you pause the next time you go to cross train tracks. Every three hours, a person or vehicle is hit by a train here in the U.S. A reminder that even though crossings usually work, there is always the chance for error. George. Yeah, you got to be careful. Every you know. three hours. Mm-hmm.